Hi, I'm Scott with Starkey Family, fixing and rigging up. And today we're gonna to be replacing an airbag on the very back axle of my semi. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. Well, let's get this going. When I was down picking my semi up for the transmission being fixed, I uh, realized after I had air pressure, I had a blown airbag. How? Not a clue. Anyways, while I was at the dealership, I went ahead and picked up a new one. So this is what the airbag looks like new. Got one bolt on top, one bolt on bottom. And then this one here has a little plug, which I'll take that plastic plug out. And then uh, I will change my air nozzle from my old airbag to the new one. While I was down there, I tried to uh, get a just get a new airbag nozzle and or a new uh, air nozzle, and they were out. What I just did was I took my jack, raised my axle up, and uh, I just kept on jacking the axle up. And uh, what I did was I put this together, a couple block or a few blocks of wood, put a jack stand on it with my frame, and then just lowered it down. And the reason being is. I'm going to have to take this old airbag out, and when I go to put the new one in, it's solid. So I'm going to have to have the height. Okay, this is the air nozzle I was talking about. And as you see, I went ahead and sprayed WD-40 on it. This right here is the one bolt on top, which is a three-quarter inch. And then... That one right there, if you can see it, it's in there. But uh, that's a three quarter also. So there's actually not much holding this in here. It's just, you gotta be a little bit smart to get it out. Okay, basically on the airline, you see this little lip right here? You don't wanna break it because it's plastic. But all you're gonna do is just go around it and push it in. And as you see, it's moving. And what you're doing is any dirt or debris or anything like that that's in there, it'll kind of work it free. And that's also why you want to have the WD-40 on there or some other type of little cleaner. And you just keep on working your way around on it. And then, while holding that down with your fingers, you got the airline off. Now I did clean this nut off with a wire brush because it was just that nasty. But I resprayed it with WD-40. Now I'm going to take my impact to it. And this is just a really small impact. You don't need anything major. If you want to just use even a regular ratchet, you can. Okay, before we move to the next uh, nut to take off, we're going to take care of this airline fitting here just so the airbag doesn't drop and we don't take a chance of breaking it. Now I did saturate it with WD-40 again. And you're just going to simply take it off slow. You do not want to force anything because you got to think it's plastic. If you see the writing there, that was my father, Max Starkey. I, sometimes I use some of his tools. He passed away in uh, 2003. Okay, here it is. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to end up taking uh, WD-40 once again and taking a rag and wiping everything clean. Okay, I cleaned it up. And I went ahead and put some of this thread tape on it. Now, if no one knows what thread tape is, basically it's a very thin tape that you can buy at any plumbing store, any parts store. It's extremely cheap. You might pay 50 cents for a roll of this stuff. But you actually use it on fittings with threads. And all you're going to do is you're just going to wrap it. Okay, let me pull this plug out of here. There we go. So, 
This right here is just going to go in here, and I'm just going to tighten it up. But we're going to wait until I actually get the airbag installed so we don't take a chance of knocking it off. And yes, I did put the plug right back in there so no dirt gets inside the air system. Okay, I took a wire brush to the top of this nut here. Now, just so everyone knows, you don't have to have anything large. I'm just using a half-inch impact. And the reason being is, if you have an impact that's too large, that has too much torque on a smaller bolt or nut, then you're taking a chance of breaking it. And when you break stuff, that can open up a world of hurt on you. Especially being today's Sunday, and you can't really get parts on Sunday. So... Okay. So now, I just tap it out. And it's that simple. And you see all that dirt and crap? That's right, you gotta do a cleanup once again. Okay, basically, you're just gonna push down on the airbag. You see this right here, this little stud? You're gonna turn it so it doesn't get in your way. You fold it out of your way. Just kind of work it out of the front. And there you go. Airbag is on the ground. And now I've got to go through. You want to make sure you clean this whole section off here on the bottom and on the top. I want to explain to you what anti seize is. Now I've just put some on the threads. It's just going to come out with a little brush. And you're just going to paint. This stuff in here what happens is when you put this on your threads and you put the nut on over top of it this is going to help keep your nut and uh, whatever kind of threads that you have from either rusting or corroding depending on the type of metal together so two or three years from now if this thing needs replaced again I can actually just unscrew it, just so. You wanna make sure you do the top and the bottom. This is the top, and it doesn't take anything major, but there again, this stuff is very simple, very easy to apply. This is all it is. Okay, now I'm gonna put the airbag in. All you're gonna do is, you put the bottom stud lined up with the hole, bring it over, and then right here in the frame rail, you're just going to apply some pressure, then it goes down in, and you're going to put it at an angle, spin it, and then here it is. It's in there. So now all I've got to do is just put uh, my washer nut up here, same thing on the bottom, and I'm done. With that right there, and then uh, I just move on to the airline. Was, I haven't tightened it down yet, but I took the washer and the nut and just put a few threads on there to hold it from turning on me. And what that's going to do is, when I, put, when I tighten the bottom up first, it's not going to suck this down to where it's going to be harder to actually pull because the stud is long enough right now on the bottom and see it's the same thing here i've got a good bit of play right there right now but after i suck uh, the stud down on the on the bottom it's going to drop this airbag well what's going to happen is this will hold it up to where all i have to do is just take the impact and just impact it from the top okay i just started the nut on there It's really fun to do this with one set of hands. Get in there. Okay. That's that. Right for the top. Okay, 
so I had to turn the air compressor off so I could finish the video here. <laughs> but anyways, as you saw, once I impacted this down, it pulled this airbag up. Do you see the tension that's actually on the airbag? I wouldn't have been able to uh, hold the airbag up, most likely. So that's why I just kept a few threads on the top and tightened the bottom down first. Okay, I just pulled the plug out. Now, there again, make sure you leave that plug in. If you don't have a plug, just put a piece of tape over the hole because you do not want any rust or any debris to fall inside there. Because what will happen is once you turn the air pressure on, that's most likely going to be in your air system from now on or inside your airbag. So now I'm just going to screw the air fitting on. And this airbag here was a little bit different. This one here had a hole in it where just like this one here, there's actually a stud coming up. It makes no difference. So if you buy an airbag and it's like that, don't worry about it. What the Teflon tape actually does is one, it helps to create a bar barrier between the threads, just like the anti seize. But two, it actually makes a seal. That way you don't have air actually, you know, coming out through the threads. Okay. You see how that's lined up pretty good with the airline? Now it's time to put the airline in. And all I'm gonna do is simply push it in as far as I can. And that's about it. That's it. Give it another final push in. But uh, that's about it right there. That simple. Okay, next step is I've got to take the truck back off the uh, jack stand and jack. So basically, I'm just going to jack the truck up and uh, pull the jack stand out and then just lower it. Okay, I've got the jack raised up, tires off the ground. And as you see, I don't have very much of a play between the frame and the jack stand. Airbag is pretty well compressed down. So, that's all you have to do. Okay, my wife's gonna hold uh, my camera here for me and I'm gonna go inside the truck, start the truck up, and then you'll see the airbags actually rise with air pressure. Scott with Starkey Family fixing and rigging up. 
I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something and maybe I even helped save you some money. If you could, leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below and please subscribe. Thank you.